Welcome back. Well, the stage may be quiet now. The Lion King is ready to roar at the Keller. Io Lise has a look at the classic Disney musical now in Portland. Good morning, Io. Good morning. Yeah, a classic story that's been entertaining audiences for decades is taking center stage in Portland. We stopped by the Keller to get a behind the scenes look at the Lion King. Before YouTube, before Netflix, before any of that, we tell stories face to face using masks and lights and shadows and singing and dancing and that's what The Lion King brings. Gerald Ramsey plays Mufasa in The Lion King that's now playing at the Keller Auditorium. To see how those elements of masks, lights and shadows come together to tell the story of a lion cub named Simba and his journey to be king, all you have to do is go behind the curtain and we did just that. Um, the stage is just that way, and this is what we call the bunker. This is where all of the ensemble members will uh, run off of the stage, and they come back here, and this is where they do all of their costume changes. Kinto Ah is the assistant wardrobe supervisor for the show. He's in charge of dressing and repairing costumes for 60 cast members and overseeing 300 costume changes. So you'll have somebody as a lioness doing a dance, and then they run off stage, put on... Uh, a, a, an ostrich and then they're on stage doing something else and then they come back off stage and then they're a, a gazelle. Uh, so you have all these different animals that are the, the same actor jumping in and out of things. In addition to innovative costumes, another iconic element of the Lion King musical are the puppets that are used to bring the characters to life. So this is Zazu. He's an incredibly expressive puppet. He can fly and blink and of course he can talk. Michael Riley is the puppet supervisor and has been since 2000. He and his team maintain 230 puppets that are part of the show, including wearable ones. And then over here, we have the villain of the piece, who is Scar, and he's a mechanical puppet. So he wears the mask on top of his head, and he's able to drop that right in front of his face and really kind of turn into the lion, which is amazing. For newer cast members like Khalifa White, who plays Nala, it's an honor to use the costumes, puppets, and more to tell the beloved story. We all have a place in the circle of life, and I think showing that someone can look different than you, you know, and we can still coexist, support one another, I think more of that is needed in the world, and it's great to have shows like this that still show this type of inclusion and diversity. Now, performances have been canceled, or they were canceled over the weekend, of course, due to the weather. And if you currently have tickets for this show, especially this week, keep an eye out for your email for updates about the status of the show that you bought tickets for. Now, in previous cancellations, ticket holders were able to get a refund and buy tickets for another show, but there's no word yet about tonight's show. Uh, the Lion King is playing through January 28th at the Keller. Back to you. It's just beautiful. It I, is a so great. stunning yeah. show. Okay, so I'm just imagining all these performers sitting in their hotel rooms stuck because they can't, they haven't been able to perform. Probably a lot of card games. Yeah, <laughs> Scrabble. Probably a lot of that. Maybe just getting food delivered or yeah. hanging out downtown. Who knows? Oh, I bet they're just so anxious to get back on the stage. Definitely. Wow. Thank you, Io. Thank you. All right. Let's